Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, welcome back to the channel. My name is Protek, and this is Indiethon Summer 2023. It's a great time being had by all, I am certain, and I'm having a good time because I am hosting for Desperados 3 being run by the ever-delightful Moknikora. Take it away, my friend. Greetings, people of the internet. I am indeed Moknikora. Uh, today, I will be running Desperados 3, a stealth strategy game from 2020 by Mimimi. Me, me, me. And yes, uh, if you are German, it is named Mimimi me, me exactly why you, th why you think it is. It's there are a bunch of wineries essentially. Uh, the category is going to be badges percent, uh, a badge, a category in which I am proud to say I am the world record holder by default. So the category uh, consists in getting all of the badges that are here. On your first playthrough, you don't see them, but on uh, sec uh, subsequent playthrough, you can get them all and they kind of prolong the longevity of the game. So you see we have like a bunch of tasks that we can do, like don't use a certain skill, kill a number of guards, don't use this door. This one door is like particularly a problem, like have a foot guard, follow your footprints. I would point out that the speedrun badge and the hard difficulty badge, every mission has those two badges. And because we are the speedrunners and because we play on the hard difficulty, we don't have to think about those. And honestly, I don't even remember all the badges we have to get. There are a lot of badges that I just get. You know, it just I just happen to get them. I don't think about them. So we start from a fresh save file to make it easier to track uh, whether or not we have gotten the badge. The timer will start when I press the continue button. Not right away. There's a lot of loading in this game. Get used to it. And it's good for me because uh, the actual levels can be quite uh, hectic, so the loading time really helps to calm down a bit. With that being said, we will start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, start. Alright, so this is the uh, prologue tutorial mission. The camera is locked in certain areas, which is kind of a pain in the ass because we want to... Uh, hit things at the very edge of the screen, like this horse right there. I have to wait for the guard to get in position, then I will throw my cone at the horse. And that unlocks the camera eventually. Alright. Uh, Alright, so, as you may have noticed, I can just teleport around the map, which is quite useful. Uh, there's a thing called the showdown mode, depending on this is uh, so you can plan actions ahead of time and execute them with all your characters at once. And depending on what you plan ahead of time, you create a showdown ghost and showdown ghosts are broken and allow you to warp around the map, fly across the map, or turn invisible. However, in this map, this first mission that I am about to play, I cannot turn invisible because to do so, you need a door that you can go through. So, you know, this wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the uh, badges that I have to get here. Okay. The first of which is, uh, I am not allowed to save, which means I am not invisible and I have no safety net. So this is pretty much where 80% of my runs die, so I may be a bit silent here. Uh, because the other batches that I have to get are... Uh, I need to save all the passengers of the train, like these guys right here. Which means I need to kill all of those people right here, which is going to look a lot like what it would look like if you were to play casually. Just more efficient, I suppose. Another badge that I have to get is uh, I cannot use firearms, so I just don't bother unlocking them. This is a new strat that I came up with like two days ago. Oh, this may be a problem. Okay, this is not ideal, but it worked. Just gotta wait for the guy on the left to look away. There we go. 
stay put. There go. All right. Hold this trick. Keep your heads down. We'll take care of the bandits. All right, so this is four of the five groups of civilians that have been saved already. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I can I can kill you. That's fine. Now I'm doing a big old setup to save the last civilian, uh, which is with the big boss of the uh, the guards, the bandits here. I wait for these guys to talk. Oh God! Normally this is where the run dies, but this is a marathon, so I have to deal with this. Uh, how do I deal with this? Yeah, 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 yeah. McCoy should be safe here, but I have to wait for the alarm to uh, to run out, essentially. No, don't, don't, don't try things. You don't know how it's gonna turn out. Just do it safe. You dumbass. Uh, the alarm's off. I can just come back here. Actually, get those. Those extra guards that came out, though, may be a problem because I don't know what their path is. Wait. Oh, this is not the correct timing, but it should work out. Okay, yeah. Alright. I am screwing up so bad. This is fine ish. Okay, he has been saved. Uh, yeah, okay. Those guards are in a place I can deal with them. Okay. So the last... Oh, I got a, I got a badge, by the way. The first badge we got was for the... Uh, the using the corn on three people. We're gonna get a badge here. Oh, killing three people with the dynamite. And now I'm going to get another badge soon enough for killing 10 people with dynamite. Oh, is that going to get all of them? Almost. Did I get the badge actually? Already, and I didn't notice. Who's left? Oh, there's one over there. Whatever. We'll wait then. I hope I got it. What? 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 Where is it? Uh, this is a problem. On my way. I got lots of these. God damn it. When I say that like 80% of my runs die here, there's a reason for that. I hate this. Okay. Why am I not getting the... Uh, why am I not getting the bash for the 10 kills? Okay, I got them all. Okay, it's fine. We're good. We're only two minutes behind my PB already. This is fine. <laughs> Alright. Now, this level, I have to kill four targets. There are badges for killing three of them at the same time, and there's a badge for uh, making all four deaths look like an accident. So this is going to be our main focus at the start, and then the second half of the uh, mission is going to be spent uh, dealing with one badge alone. That really wastes a lot of time. Here I'm going over here. In order to get the laudanum, I'm going to fly over there, interrupt spawning here, so I can poison the whiskey, because poison is an accident apparently. Say hi to Josh. Hey amigo. What it say on this bottle? Laudanum. Take too much of that. And say goodbye to Josh. Let's hold on to that. Whoever did that. You say so. Shame about the whiskey. And now in order to get all three kills at the same time, I need to wait for this guy to come back, for the other guy to go up here, and I need to wait for the poison to be delivered to the the, the woman in the uh, the whorehouse. 
And now I can save! Amazing! Safety nets, how, how I love you. Oh, I kind of mistimed that. Should be good though. Do last one. Are you okay? Are you drinking? Yep, you're dying. Okay. Was I late? I may have been late. This is one of the uh, harder ones to get, honestly, because of the timing. It's very tight. And considering I kind of uh, screwed it up at uh, there we go. This should be good. There we go. No, not you. All right. Now I need to get the last kill. So I'm going to get here. And now we have something of a time waster badge because you may notice. There are all these uh, conversation bubbles with interrogation points in them. These are private conversations. I need to listen to 10 of them, which takes a lot of time. Which is the reason why, uh, if it takes me too long getting the, uh, the multi-kill, it can actually screw up my speedrun badge. Because I still have to listen to all of these. Oh, I think it's counted. We didn't see it, but I think this counted as a conversation. There are two conversations, the one I the two I just did. These ones are kind of time because I have to wait for the uh the paths to line up essentially. And uh one thing I'm like very wary of is where I'm looking and what the triggers are that I'm walking across. Like there's a trigger here that would that would uh it will trigger a uh, vocal line that I don't want to hear because these private conversations are like at the bottom of the priorities in terms of conversation uh, to play. Uh, and the characters kind of have verbal diarrhea, so there's like a lot of conversations that I want to avoid in order to get these private conversations to go by as quickly as possible. This should be number nine. Uh, excuse me, sir. Should get the badge right here. There we go. All right. Next mission uh, has one badge that is actually kind of the bane of the uh, casual runners who are going for all the badges. We have a badge where we have to kill everyone in the map. Well, every enemy in the map. We can leave civilians al alive, it's fine. Uh, the problem with that is that there's kind of two phases to this map. We have the phase where Cooper, the guy with the knife, uh, and Cade, the person we are right now, are separate. And then there's a phase where the two of them are together. And those two phases have different sets of enemies. In order to get the badge, I need to get to. I need to kill everyone in both phases, which is kind of a problem uh, when you're doing it casually and you don't know. There's a badge for going through that door over there. Don't think about it too hard. So now, uh, I need to start engaging in a tiny bit of genocide. Which is neat, because I'm invisible, and it gets kind of ridiculous. And it's also... It's convenient that Cooper is in this mission, because his melee attack is pretty much the fastest in the game, I think. I need these guys to come out, though. Come on. Get over here. I can use my gun to kind of bait them a bit. Alright, you're, you're... Whatever. Uh, oh, hello, hello. I didn't think you guys would come out. Oh no, what the hell are you doing over there? They can be pretty hard to uh, 
uh, I can leave these guys alone. In the second phase, they are still exactly where they were, and they haven't been like they haven't been replaced by other mobs. So I can leave them and I can kill them in the second phase and they will count towards the badge. It won't screw it up. Other character, other guards that I can kind of leave up are these guys here who came out when the alarm was triggered. Uh, alarm guards are shared across the phases. So I can just leave them and take care of them in the second phase. And in fact, I kind of want them to be in the second phase. Because I'm going to need like a lot of bodies for another badge. I can just kill people over here. I believe these are all... Yeah, that's good. Uh, okay. Now I can trigger the, the phase change. I need to get my invisibility back. And now we have the first instance of two badges being mutually exclusive. There is a badge for using the Gatling gun and killing a whole bunch of people with it. And there is a badge for not using the Gatling gun at all. So I set up a quick save right before... Oh, hello. These are these uh, alarm cards that I told you about. I'm just baiting people so they come over into the killing field here. So I set up the, qu I set up the quick save and now just quick load. Uh, over here, so I can get both batches in one go. Uh, these big guys down here, I have to be very careful about those, because the only person who can uh, who can solo them is uh, Hector, the big guy from the last mission. Everyone else has to stun them pri uh, beforehand. And usually that means you have to shoot them somehow. I want my kill to be here. So the guy in the ledge sees me and comes down. Just committing more genocide. This second phase is going pretty alright. So far. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to hope that they come back this way. Yeah, because I can't go through this door. If I go through this door, I will lose my invisibility. And anyway... Uh, the door is locked, I believe. Now there's a badge here, because the guy that I'm carrying right now is the guy that Kate, in her wedding dress, was supposed to marry. But she found out that this guy uh, sold her ranch, and that's the only reason he wanted to marry her. So she killed him, and now we take a picture with, of him. Just committing more genocide. Come on. There's people outside who aren't coming to me. Oh, what? I'm going to get these two as, as they come out and then I'll go back. Ah, come on, I don't want you to come over here. You're slow. It's not going super well at this point, though. At least there's only one left. As I can see on the minimap. And then we can just go straight to the end and trigger the end like that. Now, the next mission is also a mission uh, with mutually exclusive badges, but in this case they are mutually exclusive in a way that makes it so that we have to do the level twice, essentially. Uh, McCoy, the black coat guy from the uh, first mission and Hector, the big guy, uh, are having a bet to see who kills the most the, the most guards. 
and that only gets resolved at the very end, once the mission is over, essentially. So we have to get uh, the badge for McCoy winning and the badge for Hector winning, which means we have to go through the mission twice. And the way I do this normally is uh, I take my 80% strat and then just think about uh, what are the badges that I didn't get in that uh, run through and then do an extra run through specifically just to get those badges. Uh, specifically, uh, the badges that I don't get in any percent are the badges for getting Hector, uh, winning with Hector, rather. Oh no, right, I have to, uh, to kill this guy. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine, okay. The badges that I don't get in this run are the badges to win with Hector and the badge to kill all of the long coats because you need to kill four long coats, but there's like eight on the map. So my second run through is going to be a bit more heavy on the killing because I need to kill more guys. That should be six out of eight. Now we're going through it again. The beginning looks very similar to what I just did. There's just like one guy that I'm not going to kill. I kept the one that I killed at the very start. And here's my cat. I told Prozac that my cat was going to make an appearance at some point. <laughs> my cat wants to come in. He's outside. But I'm busy, dude, so get lost, mate. No, you can't paw at the door. It doesn't work like that. You can't open it. There's a latch on it. Yes, I know you're cute. Uh, no, I don't need to carry him. Alright, uh, this is kind of newer stress again, where I'm not super sure I'm going to do it right. Because essentially there's one guy that I'm going to kill that I haven't found the way of killing him quickly without triggering an alarm. So I want the alarm to be early in the level. That way, uh, it's over rather quickly. Still going to kill this guy with... Uh, still going to kill this guy with uh, McCoy, though. My cat is still waiting for me to open the door. <laughs> That's not gonna happen, dude. Because if I let you in, I'm going to have to let you out as well. Which I don't have the time for. went onto the puddle very quickly so I could shoot him so he would drop his uh, lantern. I think he's starting to realize I'm not opening the door, the window rather. Yes, I know you can meow all you want, man. I'm not coming up there. Yes, you're cute, I know. Uh, next level, uh, there's a bridge, we have to blow it up, there's a badge, for, well, there's two places you can get the dynamite to blow up the bridge, so there's a badge for each of those two places. They're both in these little cabins here. Uh, first, I want invisibility, so I need to unlock these doors. So I can use the door to gain invisibility. Quick save. Get the dynamite. Alright. One bundle of dynamite. Go over here so I can get these uh I can I can get the badge for the uh environmental kills. And now my cat's gone. He will never forgive me. There's the badge. Now we need to go get the uh, 
dynamite at the other place. I'm gonna fly in again. That'll warp back out, because there's another environmental kill here that I need. But I kind of need to wait for it a bit. So that everyone's in position. So in the meantime, I'm going to send Kate and Cooper right to the end. Now we can wait a bit. Wait for this guy to place the dynamite so I can blow it up with the plunger over here. Now I'm going to teleport the corpse of the guy that I'm killing right now over here in order to bait people into coming over. Because I need more kills. And in fact I need to kill five guys when I destroy the bridge. So I wanted to gather them up as uh, efficiently as possible. And it just happens to be that uh, finding a corpse is actually pretty alarming to these people. I'm very surprised that I did not trigger the alarm there, but I'll take it. And with this, we have finished the first act of three. Coming up next, we will have a uh, another prologue mission. Where if I do it correctly, it's very much a blink and you'll miss it kind of mission. Because it's another prologue mission, we don't have badges that we need to get here, so it's uh, the same as in any percent. And any percent is just extremely stupidly quick. Leave it to me. Just you. Nope. Oh really? I did not know that you needed to wait a bit. Where are you, mate? Well, you had plenty of time to blink and you haven't missed anything, so... Yay. Now, Baton Rouge, next mission. The bane of my existence. The mission itself is not too bad. You can save in it, which is great. But it's the mission that I highlighted at the very beginning with the uh, Don't Use the Back Door uh, badge. There's only one door in this level that you can use to gain invisibility. And using that door to gain invisibility counts as using the door, which means uh, I can't, in order to get that badge, I can't do it while invisible. Which means I do a special playthrough of this level just for this one badge. Because doing all the stuff that I'm doing right now uh, without invisibility is extremely, extremely hard, and I don't even want to think about it. Okay, we're going to do a thing here. Wait for this guy. Alright, uh, should be set up fine. Now we need to wait for him to... Uh, Stop being in his uh, searching pattern. It's going to take a bit. Like, I might be able to do it without waiting for him, but it's like not very uh, uh, consistent, so I can't really plan for it all that well. So now we're going to have him follow our footprints. You do have to make sure that your footprints are like continuous. Must be Otherwise, he kind of loses track of where they were. The and now you have to hope that Doc doesn't die, because sometimes Doc just dies when you put him in the boat. And that is our first playthrough of this mission. Now we have to do the uh, no invisibility playthrough. And I'm putting it on easy because there's an easier enemy setup, so it's easier to deal with. Uh, it's easier to deal with. You all, you may have noticed that I, there's another badge that I didn't get. Uh, there, it's the badge to kill six guys. And I'm doing 
I'm doing it in this run because it's kind of necessary for uh, the uh, the glitchless strat that I know. It's not going to be like completely glitchless, but it's going to be like no invisibility, which is essentially glitchless. This one requires quite a bit of concentration. Uh, okay. Good thing I saved. I don't usually save there. That's good. Alright. Alright, I gotta wait for this guy because I want to kill him with the ball. In this mission, you don't have any weapons. The, all the kills you're going to do are environmental. Uh, it's fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Usually I want to kill him with the ball. But killing, just knocking him out is fine. Waiting for the uh, swaying of you cone here. What can you do? Steady. Oh no, you're carrying a guy. Take him. Got lots of these. Right. Alright. Now we're gonna kill those guys. Tie this one up. Drop. Oh, I gotta be fast here. She's about in position. Kill that one. Kill that one. Hopefully. Kill that one, it's not necessary, but he's there. Are we good? Are we good? You done? Sometimes you just end up killing like six guys over here. Oh wait, I need a... Uh... Why are you not carrying the guy? Whatever. Alright, now I need to drag out this pawn show that's in the bank. Uh, no, okay. I thought that was a bit early, but it's fine. Where are you? Okay. <sighs> I'm not sure I need to tie up these guys, but I've just taken the habit of doing it so. Maybe it's wasting a bit of time. I'm not good at glitchless stuff anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Just need to get these two to the end. I can't warp with uh, uh, with Hector because uh, you can't warp if you're carrying a body, and I'm currently carrying a McCoy. So I need to do this whole mess over here. No, you can't. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the next cycle, screw it. I don't wanna risk it. Gotta wait for them to pat around. My cat's back. Oh god, I am not doing this properly. I hope this works. I kind of screwed it up, but it's fine. I think we're good. 8 out of 8, we're good, okay. Nope! I forgot to change the uh, difficulty back to hard. Yes, I know you're a cat. I'm gonna be here a while, man. You might as well like take a hike or something. Now I need to uh, go back to the main menu to put it on the uh, hard difficulty. And this next level is actually slightly hard, because it's another level where I'm not allowed to save. Which means I can get invisibility, so it's not as hard as uh, the first level, Buyer's Pass. But there's still like not too much of a safety net if I screw up, which it's possible here. 
but it's less likely. Here we have Isabel, who is slightly OP. And we're going to see a bit of, uh, of uh, her being OP in this mission. As soon as I can find this pixel. Alright. Now I need to wait a bit so I can get invisibility, which after you've gone through a door you need to wait like 5 seconds before you can get invisibility again. And I need Hector to be invisible, so... Uh, yep. I hope I ha I hope I'm invisible here. Uh, no, no, no. Business must be good this week. Screwing up quite a bit. Something about this. Wayne, pretty sure. Okay. Don't strain your head too much, sunshine. So yeah, uh, Isabel can mind control people, which is quite useful. Oh, actually, uh, I should not have moved that guy. Kind of moved him by accident. Because uh, what I'm doing right now is uh, one of the badges. Well, one of the badges is to kill five guys at the same time, and one of the other badges is to kill three guys with an environmental kills. So I'm doing like those two badges at the same time by having five guys die to a falling rock here. I need to heal. Because yeah, every time she uh, uses her mind control, it takes out a bit of her health, but she also has like a free healing item. So it's like, doesn't matter all that much, honestly. Just hope I don't forget someone under the rock who should not be there. Yeah, I got the double ding. Now I can free Cooper, give him invisibility. Now get everyone to the end of the level. My fingers are not doing what they're supposed to. So you're the one I spotted up on that ledge. John Cooper. You got good eyes, Mr. Cooper. Excuse me. Well, Thanks for the help, Ms. Moreau. Are you carrying someone? Come on, let's talk on the way. Whatever. It's fine, we're through. Everything is fine. Yeah, 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 I know. Eight out of eight, perfect. Next level, another level that I do in two uh two goes, but I think this one I might be able to do it in just one, but I just haven't put in the time to figure out where to save and where to load. So our first go through is going to be essentially what I do in any percent, which gives me like half of the uh, badges. That being like the hard mode, the speed run, the don't kill anyone, and another one that I don't even. Know. I think I think it's like don't use a disguise or something. I never need to use a disguise. I can be invisible, so. That's an automatic badge for me. Visible. Yeah, this is this is like the one through point of RNG in the game. Uh, you have like three targets, and one of those three is going to have the letter that you're looking for, and there's no way of knowing. That's the wrong letter. There's no way of knowing ahead of time. Uh, just blindly knowing where it would be, so you have to... In any percent you have to go through all three of them and hope you have the correct one on the first try. I got it on the second try here. Now I'm going to do another type of teleport with Koi. I tend to screw up a bit. Like I just did. I'm not sure what the. Uh, I think it's something about the distance between like where you're doing the execute and 
if there's enough space for him to spawn in Adam. Sure are noises. <laughs> Not sure what that was, but okay. Uh, no, this is still... Threw me off my game! Okay, so run number two uh, of this level. The badges we are going for are listening in to conversations again, like we did in the second level. Uh, killing all of these suspects, killing people with dogs, and uh, not jumping. Not using vines, not using ladders, so we're going to take care of the conversations first. Nope, that's the wrong one. This is how we were supposed to like find out who has the letter. Here we are once again subjected to the vocal diarrhea of all of our characters, which means that our private conversations are not playing. So it's another level where I'm like very wary, very aware of where I'm looking and where I'm walking so I don't trigger additional vocal lines by accident. There's only two more conversations left. Do I know who has the letter? I do not know who has the letter yet. Because once I know who has the letter, I'm going to make sure that I kill that one first. Uh, that's the whorehouse. I want to make sure that I kill the one who has the letter first, so I don't trigger the uh, the conversation for oh, that's not the letter I wanted. Uh, ideally, this would like put the uh, it would put the conversation that I want like at the top of the list, but it's not like guaranteed, honestly. So this is the guy I wanted. Oh god. I haven't killed him. Ah. Everything is screwed up. Alright. Now this guy I'm bringing along because I need, I need to kill three guys with uh, dogs and there's like not three guys around here that I could kill easily with the dog, because everyone is kind of looking at each other and it's really annoying. So I'm bringing this guy along, isolating him, so that the dog will have an easy time, uh, easy access to the guy. Now I have screwed this up before, because I didn't know about the range of the kill. Alright, so that's three guys dead. So yeah, I can't, I can't use ladders or vines or jumps in this level, which means I can't teleport normally, but I can teleport this way, because why not? Dog is back. I gotta wait for this guy now. Look away! Look away from my shame! Gotta wait for the dog, for the dog to wake up again. There we go. Okay. Now this last guy here, I can have access to. I sometimes screw it up, so I'm gonna save. And we're good. Okay. That is all the badges that I want. So I can finish a level. And we are on to the Queen's Nest. And we kind of forgot to mention that we had an incentive for Queen's Nest. God damn it. <laughs>
so uh, Prosec, I'm guessing the incentive didn't get met because we didn't even talk about it. Let's go with not, okay. Uh, yeah, this mission I do in two goes because the badges that you have to get are really, they, they really don't mesh well together. Uh, the first badge that you, that you have to think about is you have to kill everyone. The second badge you have to think about is you have to hide the bodies of all the people you kill. The third badge you have to think about the only person who can use her the uh, melee kill skill is uh, Isabel, which means it would be extremely fucking long to get everything. You know, kill everyone with Isabel and hide all the bodies. So instead, I just do it in uh, two goes. Pretty sure that's faster. I'm kind of screwing up already. All right. The cat's back. Now let's get now we're going to use connect. Connect being an ability that means that what happens to one guy happens to the other guy as well. Uh, yep. Okay, we got the two melee kills that we wanted with Isabel. Ah, that's fine, whatever. Uh, where is he actually? He's, a, he's over there, okay. Oh, uh, what? Get out the way, you dumbasses. Oh my god, dude. Let me get to the body. They're going to hem me in again. That's fine. Okay. They weren't too bad. Just bad enough. I have to hide the bodies of the four guys that I just killed. Because I'm about to set fire to this entire building. And if you're if they're on the building while it gets uh while it gets like, you know, fire set to it, they will die and their bodies will not be hidden. So I need to take care of these four guys to make sure that they don't ruin my badge. I have to wait for them to leave. Wait for the guys who were alarmed so that they don't get die in the fire and I don't have to hide their bodies. And I think we should be good now. Now we're going to be going to do a tight timing thing. Through the torch and before the torch lands, we have to have everyone on the boat. All right. It should be good. And this here, I did it on easy because of the easier enemy setup. Ah, uh, no. Because with the harder enemy setup, I need to snipe someone with McCoy in order to get access to the cages in order to gain invisibility. And there's a badge for not sniping anyone with McCoy, because of course. So I have to do it in two goes on two different difficulties. For that reason, Bad place to defend. I hope I didn't waste too much time. It's pretty tight in terms of timing. It's this guy that I want him. I want to move. I think we should be good, and he is moving. All right, we good. Unlock the cell. Get the uh, disability. I'm setting up visibility for more people again, and I'm going to make sure that I take the time to unlock this cell because I need to open all the cages, of course. And now I'm going to set fire to the place immediately because I still need to kill everyone. From this point on, this is just going to be another like genocide mission for the badge. And uh, 
uh, the, the killing in this mission is pretty simple. So there's not really much to say. Just try to kill efficiently, quickly. One thing you will see me do is try to make sure that I'm uh, connecting the people that I melee with Isabel because her melee kill speed is like the second slowest in the game. But you can have her connect. Make it so that her... God damn it, it's gone away. I want to get the dog. So you can make it so that your connect... Uh, your connect your connect can make it so that your slowest kill in the game counts for two kills. Which is uh, quite convenient. And I think this is going to be it for Isabel for the moment. Now we're going back with Cooper. But I have to make sure that I keep at least one bullet because there's a, uh, a long coat, big beefy guy, at the end that I need to kill on my own. I should have turned on the uh, highlights to make it easier to spot them, but whatever. This guy. Alright, now we're going to start killing with Hector. His his melee kill is the second quickest in the game, I think. But what's more important is his shotgun. It just kills a whole lot of people at once. Unfortunately, we only have like two bullets, or two shells. Now, there's a thing that can happen in this mission where there will be a guy uh, in the building on fire and the guy just won't care about being on fire and he'll be alive and I need him to like not be alive and that's always like a bit of a problem when that comes up but fortunately it didn't happen this time ah come on good enough And they're really coming from far away. Come on. If you're stuck in an animation, you can't kill anyone. Uh, you can't warp, rather. Hoping to get my second shotgun shell over here. Uh, gather up, gather up. Ah, that's fine. Now looking at the minimap tells me that I've gotten everyone. Which means I can just get everyone on the boat. You two making bets now or something? No, I just want to see the look on his face. Making progress. We go ah. first. What's your beef with Doc? Dude, it's not so bad. It can get pretty hard to like see your uh, your showdown thing. A lot of noise. All right, that's all the badges. Next is the dogs, which, as opposed to uh, as opposed to the any percent run, we actually get to play this map. Instead of just warping to the end and winning instantly. <clears throat> uh, the badges that I will be thinking about, uh, the big one, is uh, you can't use any of Cooper's skills. Which means we're just going to park him somewhere and not do anything with him. And you have to kill all of the long coats in the level, which I think there's 11. Then that's where we gotta... So that's going to be our assignment. 
for the evening. Set this up, get the first long code, get Cooper to the end, get, use him to get one batch. This one right there. Quick load. Go to the end. Use Kate to get to the end and set up for the uh, remaining kills and summon badges. And she takes people by shooting them and then meleeing them. Uh, where is he? So, I need to kill people with the steamer wheel, but weirdly enough, if I don't look at the steamer wheel, it doesn't kill anyone, for some reason. I don't know how that works, but it's a thing that you have to like be aware of. Make sure that you keep looking at the wheel, otherwise it doesn't count. Yep. It was in the animation. Uh, get another one. Hide this one. Well, don't really need to hide it. Really. Uh, hide this one over here. Alright. Get rid of this one. Alright. Should be three more, including the one that uh, Kate is working on right now. Kill this one. Now these last ones I want to make sure that no alarm comes from people spotting them, so I have to make sure that I hide them. Oh. Okay, that should be good. Now all the long codes are dead, so I can just bring everyone to the end. And on to the next part, where I have to use Cooper. But I still can't use a skill, so I'm just going to warp and be invisible and run to the end. There is like one skill that I have to use for him, and it's this gun here. Should be good. This ends Act 2. Uh... Now everyone, uh, no, wait, Cooper failed his duel, everyone was made prisoner, now we are, we are in a gold mine as a slave workers. And, uh, what badges are there here? Yeah, there's dynamite, like, uh, you have to bring, like, a cart full of, uh, gunpowder to the end, there's, like, a right path and a left path. And there's dynamite that you have to either use or not use for the badges. So we're doing like left path and use dynamite in one go and uh, right path and don't use dynamite in another go. But we're doing a, uh, some quick save and quick load shenanigans. So we only have to do the level once. Thanks again for stitching me up. You do make a good team. Is that right? There's also a badge for like getting only uh, Doc's gear here, but that's already what we do in any percent anyway, so uh, like whatever. Get over here, unlock the door so we can get invisibility. Get over here. Uh, no. Get over there. You are not invisible. Why are you not invisible? Why are you not invisible? Oh no, that's bad. Uh, let's try to save it. No, I can't save it actually. Can I save it? Come down from there. Let's just restart, it's gonna be quicker. I usually have a save like right before I do the first jump with McCoy, but this time I didn't do it. It happens. Like, I'm not worried about the estimate anyway, it's very generous.
I've only got like four levels left and they're like very short. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Damn. All right. Thanks again for stitching me up. Save. You do make a good team. Is that right? Get the gear. Why wouldn't it be? Fly. Ah, uh, you can get shot, that's fine. Uh, you'd better be invisible this time. Alright. Yeah, we're good. Do that, get the switch, come back here with the cart, save, get the left path badge, get over here, there's the dynamite, start blowing up a whole lot of people, first of all these two because they're in the way, you need to kill like tw you need to kill like 20 people. So you want to make sure you get like big groups. But, you know, it's not guaranteed. Ooh, that's a meaty one. That's good. All right. Quick load. Now we can do the rest of the level as we do uh, in any percent. Essentially, it's like one thing that changes a bit. There's this setup here that's different on hard because there's an extra guy over here. So I have to make sure that I kill him as soon as I get rid of those two down there. Otherwise he triggers the alarm and that's really annoying. Why are you carrying this guy? Alright. Uh, get over there. Now we can go to the end. Everyone's freed, so I can just get set up for the last bullet that I need to shoot into the minecart full of gunpowder. And they should be good. Yep. Uh, now the next level. The next level, there is a train going through a town. We need to stop the train. There are two ways of stopping the train. There's a badge for each way. There is also a badge for not killing anyone, and there's a badge for killing people. Uh, with uh, quick save, quick load shenanigans, we can do like both ways in one go. So shouldn't be too bad. Actually, practice. I actually practiced this level before. Uh, right before. I started this run. So I should be good at it. Now I'm going to use the corpse to draw out more people and I'm going to use the unconscious person to kind of funnel everyone towards her so that the train kills a whole bunch of people. Yeah, perfect. And this is another one of these things where you have to look at it, otherwise it doesn't kill anyone. I can get the... Uh, I can get this thing. And reload. And now I can do the... Uh, uh, pacifist way, essentially. Uh, no, pacifist. I have to wait for the train to pass. Let's head this way. Otherwise, uh, these guys will get spotted, and I'll start the alarm. It'll be a whole mess. There we go. Perfect. So one thing, like one reason that I did the the uh, the bull stampede while killing people is that when the bull stampede out, they actually kill people. Oh, this may have been a problem. I think we're good. I think we're good. Because sometimes the train that spawns right after 
the wagon to like a different terrain and it can like kill people sometimes oh you need to like be invisible though because like one of the badges is uh i like cooper is carrying isabel and i can't drop her that's that's the badge get in there so now we just have to uh walk slowly to the end because as i have mentioned before if you're carrying someone you can't teleport so we wait there we go we are home Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the level I just did. David Mansion, Casa David. It is an extremely quick level in any percent, and it is an extremely quick level in badges percent. There's just not much to it. Like in uh, in any percent, there's only two badges that I don't get normally, and they're like pretty damn quick to get. So it's like maybe 20 seconds extra just going out of my way to get those badges. And that's actually like a big a big reason of why like why this uh this category exists. I could see that if I went like 20 seconds out of my way, I could have gotten all of the badges. And considering the fact that any percent is so short and you know it's like a 23 minute run but like get over there it's a 23 minute run but like eight minutes of that is just loading screens it was not a good ratio of like uh of playing versus waiting so i wanted like a better category All right. Sure I just need a few seconds. Oh, well, look at this place. Ah, I'm screwing up. Okay. I can smell the food from here. Now I can get the vid. I just just waiting for everyone to get uh, to the end. There's one badge that I have to be careful about because I can't you I can't touch any of the bushes and there's one right there. And sometimes the pathing makes you like just run right through it. So I make sure to go out of my way to not step through that bush. And this brings us finally to the uh, final level of the run, uh, Devil's Canyon 3, which is the, uh, the level that we were in in the prologue missions. Not that we really saw much of it, honestly, but whatever. Uh, it's another level where we mostly do like quick save and quick load because it's like mutually exclusive badges like there's go through the uh, left side go through left side right side go through the right side go through the left side don't kill anyone kill people uh, with uh, rocks so I'm separating those things via quick save and quick load as soon as the loading is done We, do, we, uh, we time this game without loads for a reason. Now, uh, of course, at the start we give everyone invisibility, because why not? Now I need to kill uh, six people with with rocks. So I'm going to try to kill these six people with only one rock. There's a rock right to the right of me. Uh, which means I'm going to kill people in order to bring out more people. And then I'm going to bring a uh, unconscious body 
right in, under the rock so that they all go under the rock and then I'm going to drop the rock on them. Okay, okay, okay. That is a lot of people dead all at once. I'm doing the, uh, just go through the, uh, right side thing, just fly across, doesn't matter. Then reload, so that our kill count is still at zero. Doing another fly across the way to get the, uh, go through the left side badge. I also give everyone invisibility because normally you get here, but the speedrun strat is to kill people, but I'm not allowed to kill anyone, so. Now, this is the final setup of the game, where I have to uh, take care of all these blue dudes in showdown. And hopefully I get it first try. Time will be, maybe, uh, when the screen fades to black. We'll see if I get it. I think I got it. And time is when the screen finally decides to fade to black. Now, time. Ugh. That was a run. Don't know if Prosec is still there. Does not appear to be the case. Cool. Prosec did have to step out literally. I'm taking over from the next few hours. But yeah, GG is well played. Yeah, thank you. Now I can't skip out of this animation of this cinematic over here, but I'm, I would need to in order to verify that I did indeed get all eight badges for this level to con confirm that I have all the badges of all the levels. But uh. I know this game well enough that I know that I did get everything. So this is indeed confirmed. Badges percent succeed, success. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, shout outs would be, uh, I want to give a shout out to S'mores and THX4, which are the two other runners for the full game of this. Uh, they were like very helpful in terms of like explaining glitches and giving me their notes which were very helpful in, in learning the game. And uh, thanks to the devs, uh, Mimi Me, who are very supportive of the uh, speedrun community. And uh, yeah, I guess check out, check out uh, the next game that they have coming out, which comes out in a month and a half, and there's a demo out right now, so it's gonna be in this similar style, if that tickles your fancy. With that, I will throw it back to our host while I confirm that we did indeed get all the badges. Whoever you are, I don't even see your name. <laughs> uh, I've yet to introduce myself, sorry. Um, I am Adler, I'll be taking over for the uh, next, next couple hours for the next couple runs. Perfect. Thank you to a ProSec who stepped out without any uh, pomp and circumstance. He kind of just did a quiet swap out, but yeah, he had to go. So, oh, okay. uh, yeah. So yeah, that's the game. We are ready to uh, cross over, do the changeover of the game. Anytime you feel like it.